I would like to welcome you very warmly. My name is Rota Kanya. I am a journalist. I work in media. I've been working in media from the beginning of 90s. My, uh, I am a philosopher by uh, education. So this is my passion, not only uh, the way of earning money. I would like to tell you what is happening in the media from the other side. I will start from the second half of the 80s when the head of the Association of Polish Journalists, Stefan Bratkowski, organization working in the underground, wrote a letter to, the, to, to Mikhail Gorbachev and he wrote that let's talk to us. We are the proper opposition. It means with us, it means widely understood the environment of Gazeta Wyborcza and it led to this that the media looked as they looked, but also big influence in Poland on media by the secret uh, services uh, in the villa belonging to the Ministry of Foreign, uh, of Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The representatives of the secret uh, services met the CIA representatives and it is this described this meeting is described widely and during that meeting there was uh, uh, there was Grabowskow Czempiński present uh, and all the functionaries of uh, special services. There were five of them there offered to the Americans their services. So they said that they will uh, join the American side. And the, the fact uh, that the representatives of the communist special uh, forces of the, the declared loyalty to the American services. So can result in this that the service will act in the normal way, but it was not like that because the network of different business relations, so there were still very strong impact on Polish service and Polish media and first of all on services. Uh, had the uh, Soviet uh, uh, Union. So Poland is located in such a place in Europe where there is this conflict of different interests. And for over 50 years, Poland was a, a country of the Soviet Union. And when the services started to be named differently, but still, uh, they were also the Soviet service. They, they we know after what uh, happened, what operations were actually conducted uh, with big impact uh, from the Soviet Union. Also, media couldn't behave normally. Why? Because it turned out uh, that in media at the beginning of the 90s and later, and there were many people working who were registered as the secret uh, uh, agents of uh, intelligence services. Why is it so important? Because certain content couldn't be revealed in media because of this setting. Uh, how do we know about it? We know uh, this about from the archives of the Institute of National uh, Heritage, of National Memory. And I also use those materials in the archives. But what I was always saying with the readers so that this Institute of National Memory was created in 2000 and started operations in 2006. And Gauka Institute started operations in 2000 after a few days after the fall of the Berlin uh, war, uh, Wall. So, uh, so that was a so, so, so I would like to say that it had an impact. So I myself experienced when I was uh, making program for the public to be that the most most sensitive air at, at the most sensitive parts of that program, the sound disappeared. Or when the Le Kaczynski was invited to the radio station, so now it turned out that there is nothing uh, in the air. That there was there was no broadcasting. That were not just the uh, the uh, the spy uh, strategies. It happened. It truly happened. 
And uh, how about Smolensk catastrophe? So there were only lies uh, for so many years, and Poles were over flooded with different lies, and also there was the same uh, information passage to the Western countries. So nothing was said about uh, about this catastrophe in true terms. So every, everybody who wanted to say something true about Smolensk was attacked. Professor Bilenda, uh, Jorgensen, so uh, what was said. So then it was reflected in absolute uh, uh, untrue stories in Gazeta Wyborcza. And still it was said in the, the democracy in Poland is threatened. No, it is not threatened. Democracy in Poland is OK. And also we could see it yesterday where, when in the same time we had different marches. Yes, the independence marches in about gaining independence of by Poland in 1918. So, taking into account historic terms, it is not a surprise. Poland regained independence in 1918 in November and in December, four weeks later, there was the Communist Polish Party. A satellite party of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union created in Moscow and in Warsaw the uh, statute was signed and that the role of that party was uh, to subordinate Poland to the Soviet Union and I am saying this because different movements uh, different influences uh, will still be active. This is not in this way uh, that uh, the secret agents are now sleeping. It's not this that the biology functions and uh, now the functionaries who are now 60, 70 or 80 years old, they do not have any impact on reality. Yes, they do have an impact because there is a big web of connections, especially in business. It was visible when media were created in Poland, two biggest TV stations, it means TVN and the Polsat, uh, so the presidents of those channels were people who are in the archives uh, as the secret agents uh, of uh, Soviet Union. So that was not uh, incidental that, that's, that that pie was divided in this way. And one of the weeklies, uh, Polityka Jerzy Baczyński, also is uh, registered as a, a secret uh, agent. So, of course, part of those archives was destroyed, but uh, the rest really makes an in enormous impression. Because if we take, for example, the manner of reporting of Smolensk catastrophe, and when we see who is broadcasting this, what people are giving their comments, so nothing is surprising here. On the 10th of April 2010, on one of the blogs uh, on internet uh, portal, we had an entry made by Professor Professor Kuzniar, who wrote uh, that uh, that uh, that President Lech Kaczynski actually made the pilots land the 10th of April, few hours after that crash. Professor Kuzniar uh, then became the advisor to Bronisław Komorowski, president. And what happens me when uh, writing information on advisors and people who are uh, at, uh, who are uh, working with Bronisław Komorowski, Professor Kuźniar is the secret agent uh, in the archives, not only him, but everybody who actually had an influence on key issues uh, in Poland were related to those secret uh, uh, services. Uh, in the recent book, Resortowiedzieci Polityków, we actually described the admission of Poland to European Union. And the majority of those negotiators were people who were uh, classified and registered as a secret agents. And one of them was actually refused the right to enter European states. And despite this later on he was a member of the Polish government so this is how it looked and those two groups it means the group 
groups who want free Poland and who want Poland to uh, function as a democratic state are still eliminated by the strong group uh, related to the secret agents of the uh, uh, of, of, of